The opposition Congress in Meghalaya Assembly on Wednesday staged a walkout after the Speaker has disallowed a short duration discussion on demand for suspension of police officials involved in the killing of former HNLC leader Cherry Sturfield Thank you in the wee hours of August 13th last. The demand for a short duration discussion was moved by the Molai MLA P.T. Saukume. The Assembly Speaker disallowed the short duration discussion though it had been admitted to be taken up during ongoing autumn session. After receiving a letter from the state government referring to the advice of the Advocate General that the matter is subjudiced, Leader of Opposition Mukul Sangma on Wednesday questioned the state government for trying to protect the top police officials who are responsible for the alleged fake encounter of former HNLC leader Terrister Phil Thank you on August 13, expressing his disappointment that the short duration discussion on the suspension of the top police official was not allowed in the house. He said the suspension of the top police official was important to pave way for free and impartial pro. demonstrate our anguish and our lack of confidence on the government, the MDA government. You will recall with uh, a sense of pride and satisfaction then that prior to 2008, how the preceding government has with all the committed effort, with utmost sense of sincerity, honesty, dedication, with a full focus on the larger good of the people and for the larger interests of the state, to generate the momentum of development and growth, and to ensure that the momentum of development and growth restore peace and tidy society. Today, unfortunately, all those hard work to restore peace and sustain peace you have seen what is the prevailing situation across the state, whether it is in the state capital, whether it is in the district capitals, or whether it is in other parts of the state. The sense of insecurity prevailing, the whole instances of lawlessness, again, appearing in the state, threatening the hard-earned peace, which should have been sustained with a committed effort of the government. The irony is that the government of the day today do not have the priority set to address this most important concern which revolves around the larger interests of the people, larger interests of the state. And today, as the opposition wanted, the response of the government and the correct stand of the government in order to instill confidence and trust amongst the citizens of the state. We found that the government was completely trying to stall what stonewall such discussion, prevent such discussion in the August House. You will appreciate the fact that in our vibrant democracy, when we are in session, it is the best platform where the elected representatives are able to articulate the concerns of the people. The issues which is confronting our people on a daily basis, the issues which pose challenges towards our collective intent of joining hands in the whole story of progress and growth of the state. But as you saw today, as you witness, that the government is completely insensitive. They are probably not concerned about the need to understand the ground reality. They are completely disconnected from the ground reality as to what is happening in ground zero and the outcome, the fallout is visible, palpable everywhere.